Tuesday, March 17th, Middle East Peace Update Report. This is Bro Stuff. And um, this is my thoughts on what's going on with some developments with Iran, with Europe, and with Israel. I'll call this Iran cruise missiles. Europe and Israel. So um, I was reading a news article, <clears throat> excuse me, that discusses and highlights the fact that Iran now has its own cruise missiles. And the picture that you see attached to this audio are those cruise missiles that Iran has. So now Iran is capable of hitting Europe and Israel with cruise missiles that can be fired from the air, from the sea, and from mobile platforms. So while the world has been futzing around with Russia and the Ukraine issue and the Iranian negotiations that are going nowhere, Iran has been upgrading its fleet of cruise missiles that, by the way, you could put a nuclear warhead on a cruise missile just as easy as you could an ICBM. And so Iran's been upgrading its Navy, its conventional war machine, and now cruise missiles. And while the world's been so preoccupied with everything else, and these cruise missiles makes Iran very dangerous because they could uh, just float in a frigate, you know, um, a couple hundred miles off of uh, the coast of Israel and push a button and a cruise missile comes in at about 150 feet and, and and just hits the target. And, you you know, we all saw in the Gulf War and when we were uh, out sting Saddam Hussein, the accuracy of these cruise missiles, they're unbelievable. They're tied into GPS coordinates. And, you know, they can hit the head of a dime or, or the, the head of the pin, you know, with complete accuracy. So, so while we're, you know, overly concerned, rightfully so, with Iran becoming a nuclear power, how much more dangerous are they really with now cruise missiles that, that can just about go anywhere in the Middle East theater and into Europe? I mean, if I was living in Europe, I'd be really nervous. And, you know, they can launch a few submarines right off the coast of the United States, send up a cruise missile and have it fly under radar and hit <clears throat> San Diego, hit LA, hit Florida, hit New the New York coastline. I mean, um, how does this though, how does this fit into Bible prophecy? Well, again, I don't want to sound like a, a recording, but it fits into the Ezekiel 38, 39 scenario perfectly. What we're seeing uh, with everything going on with Iran, we're seeing that they're rising to prominence and power, becoming a major war machine in the Middle East. And and threatening Europe, and they're doing exactly what I believe the Bible said would happen. The Bible paints in Ezekiel 38, 39, Iran as being a leader in the area that along with Russia comes after Israel. Well, they're living up to that. And I believe, you know, I think Iran's going to go nuclear. I, I've always believed that. I was blowing the horn on this back in 2005. 
And I was one of the, the only voices out there screaming at the top of my lungs, stop Iran now. That was in 2005. That was 10 years ago. People thought I was out of my mind. Well, here we are. Iran probably has the material to make nuclear warheads right this very moment. And they're very good at the game of chess. They're very smart. And they're going to wait, bide their time, and at the right moment, they're going to strike. Now, just throw into this whole mix, they're, they're now surrounding Israel on the borders of Israel. They're Republican Guard units. They're in Lebanon, they're in Gaza, they're in Syria, they're in Iraq. They want to move into southern Saudi Arabia. Um, uh, I mean, Iran is encircling Israel and they're doing it very stealthy, very quietly. No one is saying a word to them about it. And all we care about is the deal that Obama is going to make with the Iranians. It's going to be really just no deal at all. He's basically just helping them, you know, run the clock out so that they can not only have a great conventional army, but have a great nuclear uh, arsenal as well. Because Obama, in his small mind, thinks this is the solution to the Middle East problem. A strong Iran... A strong Israel will bring peace to the whole region. He's a fool. And if he would just open his Bible and read Ezekiel 38, he'll see what he's helping to bring about. And that's the invasion of Israel. And then God's going to go to uh, battle for Israel, destroy Iran, destroy Russia, humiliate them on the mountains of Israel. And uh, humiliate those that sat by, idly sat by, and helped all of this to happen. So that's my report for today. I want to remind you to go to brostef.org for our intelligence reports. Uh, please go to uh, facebook.com slash groups slash brostef to get involved in our Facebook conversations there. And uh, also... Um, remember to check our audio blog out at audioboom.com slash brostiff. Make it a great day. And remember, keep looking up because Jesus is coming back. And don't forget, live out your faith. Be obedient to the Lord. By, by your obedience, you show him how, that you love him. So remember, obey the Lord and live out the word of God. Talk to you again real soon. Keep looking up.